And I'm Alegria. Welcome to United ITV News, a program that will show you what's happening at United ISD. You'll see events and activities that take place in our district. On today's show, the United High School Choir performs medieval music. We will take you to their Madrigal dinner. And we'll meet a teacher at United High School who donated his 10th gallon of blood. Those stories and more are coming up on this exciting edition of United ITV News. United High School ninth grade cafeteria was transformed into a medieval castle. This is a tradition for the United High School Choir, the 26th annual Madrigal Dinner. United High School Choir students hold this spectacular event every year. The highlight of the evening was the United Choir performing a beautiful performance of Renaissance music. full of music and fun and food. It's, it's, it's a great time. The students were dressed in period costumes, representing knights, ladies, jesters, dragons, and jugglers. There was even a king and a queen who presided over the festivities. The proceeds benefit the United High School Choir. It's a huge production with um, the fundraising, the money, the reservations, the seating, the, the elaborate castles, there's a lot of preparation, a lot of planning from like forms and all of that, and so it's a little uh, overwhelming, but the great thing is that I have amazing students that are very talented, very bright, and so they're very independent where they can take charge of different tasks, and it just makes everything so much easier. And the, the parents are very involved, they're very helpful, and that makes it, it makes the whole experience so enjoyable to have everybody come together bring their resources, their talents, and their gifts to put together this for the students for their scholarships. United High School teacher David Perez attained an unusual achievement. He was able to donate his 10th gallon of blood. On hand to observe the blood donation was United High School principal Alberto Aleman and officials from the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center. Good job, sir. Thank you, Friday. There are eight pints in one gallon. Therefore, Perez has had to donate 80 pints of blood to reach his 10-gallon milestone. He reached the 10-gallon mark over the course of several years. His blood type is O negative. It is in high demand because O negative blood can be donated to anyone. Very important to give blood, save a lot of lives. I think each, each, each pint can save three lives. I'm O negative, which is very high in demand. I can give to anybody, it's a universal donor. A press conference was held for the Run Wild for Scholars Run and Walk event. The goal is to raise scholarship money for qualified high school seniors. The press conference was held in the central office boardroom. Run Wild for Scholars offers a fit and healthy start for a new year. It will take place on Saturday, January 24th at the Bill Johnson Student Activity Center. There will be a health fair for those taking part in the Run Walk. The registration fee will be $25 for adults and $10 for students. Whether you get $15, $20, it adds up. $1,000 for a student is a start for them for their higher education. It's a 5K run walk, and uh, it's been a very successful event. This is the fourth annual. So it's fun, it's a family event, and even if you just come out just to join the crowd and, and participate, if you don't want to participate, but at least join us and help help invest in our children's future, so it's a good, it's a good event. Participants can expect a t-shirt, a certificate of participation, and a medal for division winners. One of the event sponsors, Blue Cross Blue Shield, generously donated $10,000. In addition, a Zumba Masterclass will take place Saturday, January 17th at the United Middle School Gym. Registration will be $15 for the Zumba Masterclass. 
All proceeds for the Run Wild for Scholars and the Zumba Masterclass will benefit eligible students from all four UISD high schools. Students at Washington Middle School are challenged to read a certain number of books per six-week period. Students who completed their reading assignments during the first and second six weeks were recognized at the school's inaugural literacy rally. The event took place in the school's gym. This was to honor our students who met their reading challenge throughout the semester. And so we wanted to give them an inexpensive but fun way to celebrate their, their reading endeavors. The librarian and several teachers entertained students with the redemption of the rally's theme song, It's All About the Books. Students heard from motivational speaker Eloy Rendon. He stressed the importance of obtaining a good education. He also spoke to students about the importance and benefits of reading. He encouraged students to prepare well for their future endeavors. Event organizers say the objective was to encourage students to keep reading. In an effort to promote unity and togetherness, Alexander High School hosted a Meet in the Middle Parade. Meet in the Middle is an initiative for Special Olympics to promote acceptance and inclusion for students with physical and mental disabilities. We're trying to educate our students to be tolerant, that we're all part of our campus. The effort also seeks to encourage kindness and discourage bullying. The parade was led by both school mascots. Also taking part were various students' groups. Santos Benavides Elementary held a parade to recognize its special athletes. The parade honored the school's bowling team. The team is composed of special education students. We had a great parade to honor our students who will be um, participating in the Special Olympics bowling tournament. This is a district initiative. It's called Meet in the Middle. And these are our coordinators for our school. And we're going to try to do as many activities as we can to promote uh, awareness. Meet in the Middle is an initiative started by Special Olympics. It promotes acceptance and inclusion for students with physical and mental disabilities. The effort also seeks to encourage kindness and discourage bullying. United South High School observed its 25th anniversary earlier in the year. The school celebrated its first quarter century of existence with a pep rally. Administrators, board members, and invited guests gathered in the school library. After the initial meeting, everyone moved over to the school's big gymnasium. Today is an exciting day. We are celebrating the 25th anniversary of our school. The pep rally featured performances by the band and the school's cheerleading squad. The audience, made of mainly students, cheered for the school's football team. Past principals from United South High School were also invited to attend this festivity. Rad Kids is a program that empowers students. The program has been adapted by United ISD Elementary Schools. Roosevelt Elementary invited parents to the demonstration of the Rad Kids program and how it works. The realistic simulation includes Roosevelt Elementary counselor Frank Zarabia wearing the big red suit. Well, the students first of all learned the, the three most important rules about how nobody has a right to hurt them because they're special, how they, have, they don't have a right to hurt anyone else, but if someone's trying to hurt them, they can stop them. And most importantly, that if anybody ever tries to hurt them, it's not their fault and they can tell. Those are the most important skills that they learn. In addition to learning some skills that we will see today about how to actually get away if someone actually tries to abduct them, also they learn sa general safety rules for home and school and other, other places as well. Teachers who have been trained in the Rad Kids program have been shown how to manage the suit. They've learned how to make the Rad Kids experience a positive one for the students. The main purpose is to show children how to get away from a dangerous situation. Children learn the vocalization, the kicks and the strikes that will keep them safe. Sarabia says their children benefit from the Rad Kids program. And we, we see the change when they finish the program that they're so much more empowered, they feel so much more confident. And, and we're about to bring the, the next level of Rad Kids, which is going to be a Rad Kids Fridays. So we're going to start reviewing with the kids who have already been trained in the years past to make sure that they don't forget their skills. And we already uh, went through something with a few kids last couple of weeks ago, and they just woke it all up. I and mean, it looks like if they never stop being Rad Kids, they just they come alive when they do this program. As part of National Young Readers Week, Centeno Elementary Principal Laura P. De Los Santos spent a day reading to students from the roof of her campus. This exercise in literacy was part of Pizza Hut's Book It program. The cold weather failed to chill the enthusiasm of students. De Los Santos, dressed as Captain America, and took part in the principal's reading challenge. She read to students in all grade levels. She read from the featured book, Jeff Kinney's Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. 
Peaks Ahead's Book It program gives schools across the nation the chance to win 101 copies of The Long Haul. The contest requires schools to post photos and videos of the reading activities on the social media. At the conclusion of each session, the Los Santos challenged her students to read more books. The United ISD Police Department hosted its second annual football tournament. The event was called Defending Our Badge. Every law enforcement agencies were invited to form a touch football team and take to the field. Organizers say that it was a good cause. All proceeds benefited United ISD's annual toy drive. Members of our district facilities department were also on hand selling plates of food. All games were played at Kruger Field. The effort of the area law enforcement helped make the event a big success and helping some of the less fortunate students in our district. We just want to thank, you know, the community first of all, thank uh, the district for supporting us, the board, Mr. Santos, and this great event. Also want to thank all the law enforcement agencies that had contributed in, in the past years and, and will continue, you know, participating with us for this great cause. Thank you very much. In an effort to make the Christmas holiday a little brighter for some students, the district struck up some holiday cheer. The strike of some holiday cheer bowling tournament raised money for Christmas gifts for some of our district's neediest students. The tournament had 40 teams take part. Teams were made up of schools, departments, and generous sponsors. Trophies were given out for most spirited, highest score, first place team, and lowest pin count. This exercise in generosity was able to raise about $30,000. This will help a lot of our students during the Christmas holidays to be able to enjoy Christmas. Everybody responded really well. They're raising a lot of money, and we're hoping the kids have a good Christmas. Y para eso estamos aquí para servir a la comunidad y a nuestros estudiantes y a los empleados. Y esto es en honor de los niños, cuales vamos a traer una sonrisa, una alegría en su cara esta Navidad. Coming up on United ITV News, the Elementary Honor Choir takes part in the annual Christmas holiday concert. We'll take a look. And we'll see what several United ISD schools did to honor our local military veterans. Stay tuned. You're watching United ITV News. Children who are between 6 and 18 years of age and children in pre-kinder and kinder have to go to school. It's the law. If your children don't go to school, you as parents can be held responsible. When students are absent, parents must send a written excuse or medical note. Parents and students can be taken to truancy court after three unexcused absences within a four-week period. You can face fines, community service, and possible jail time. Drivers, be careful around school buses and school zones. Come to a complete stop when you see the flashing red light on a school bus. Slow down to 20 miles per hour in a school zone at the start and at the end of each school day. State law prohibits the use of cell phones or any handheld devices in an active school zone. Please obey crossing guards directing traffic. Failure to heed these warnings can lead to fines or jail time. Keep our kids safe. Drive carefully. Like adults, young people need to exercise too. At least one hour of physical activity every day, regular exercise helps you. Build healthy bones, muscles, and joints. Feel less stressed. Feel better about ourselves. Keep a healthy weight. Sleep better at night. <clears throat> Feel more ready to learn in school. And don't forget to make healthy food choices as well. Exercise and healthy eating equals success. It's school time, and let's keep Laredo's children safe by following these important safety tips when driving through school zones. Slow down to 20 miles per hour and be extra careful when driving near school. State law prohibits the use of cell phones in school zones. If you see a school bus with flashing lights, remember to stop until the bus resumes motion. Failure to heed these warnings could result in fines or jail time. By staying alert and obeying all traffic laws, we can keep our kids safe. The elementary honor choir is made up of the best students in our district. Recently, these talented singers performed their annual Christmas holiday concert. Let's take a look.
Muller Elementary held its pumpkin patch decorating contest teachers and students work to come up with the best decorated pumpkin. This activity is a way to promote learning and a love of reading. Students, parents, teachers and staff all take part. This is a tradition at Muller Elementary. We have students participating from pre-K through fifth and we have judges coming to judge the event throughout the day and they'll be coming from the district. We have some honored guests from the district and also from the community as well. It's a way to promote literacy. It's a way to showcase the students' work with the help of their teachers, uh, looking at uh, literacy through the eyes of a child and what they produce and how the, they interpret it. Uh, it's always an exciting uh, endeavor for this campus. The pumpkins are decorated to represent a book, a book series, an author, or a favorite character in literature. Judges from United ISD and the surrounding community are invited to evaluate and choose the best pumpkin. Honoring our nation's military veterans is a tradition at United High School. The Longhorn Nation sets aside some of the time to let local veterans know that their service to our country will always be appreciated. United High School's Veteran Day ceremony took place in the cafeteria. The guest speaker was San Antonio native and retired three-star U.S. Air Force General Kenneth Aikman. In his last assignment for the Air Force, he served as a commander at the Aeronautical Systems Center at wright Patters Air Force, based in Ohio. Local veterans took center stage during his event. The school's Air Force Junior ROTC also performed as they twirled their rifles on stage. The veterans who were present received a small token of the school's appreciation. Our nation's fallen veterans were also remembered with the playing of tap. The event featured performances by the Longhorn Band and the choir. Patriotic songs were the order of the day. United High School paid a fitting tribute to those who were honorably served in our nation's armed forces. Students and faculty at Trotman Middle School took time to honor our nation's military veterans. An assembly was held in the school's gym. The veterans were welcomed with warm applause. Following the presentation of colors, the vets were presented with a small token to remember this moment. We would like to thank you and hope that you will take this small token of our appreciation with you. Uh, just so that you know how very much appreciated you truly are. Thank you. The school's Lasso Stance team entertained the troops. They were followed by the school's cheerleading squad. The solemn tradition of Tamps ended the festivities. Students at Washington Middle School held a ceremony recognizing veterans. Organizers say they want students to understand that our freedom should not be taken for granted. A group of local military veterans was escorted to the ceremony. Everyone assembled in the gym for the program. The school's glee club sang for the veterans. Afterwards, each vet received a small token of appreciation from the school. We hope that you enjoy the ceremony. As I said in the library, this is about you. We thank you for everything you've done for this country, for our state, for our city. We applaud you and we honor you. Thank you very much. United South Middle School also took a moment to thank military veterans in our community. The students gathered in the gym with some 50 veterans from all branches of the armed services. The honored guests were welcomed by Principal Roland Wilson that was followed by the presentation of colors. The guest speaker was retired Marine Corps Colonel Sarah Phoenix. Colonel Phoenix is a lead instructor for the Junior ROTC program at United South High School. The veterans were presented with a token of the school's esteem. The school expressed its gratitude to the veterans for their service to our country. That was followed by a musical finale by the school's band. In an effort to promote student health and well-being, Newman Elementary played host to a red ribbon parade. The event is used to encourage students to stay away from illegal drugs. We had a great turnout, we had a lot of parent support, and the students really enjoyed it. The children lined up and took part in their parade. 
They walked onto the sidewalk under their watchful eyes of their teachers. Armed with noisemakers and bells, the students walked one large city block around their school. A short time later, the students finished their parade and went back to class. Red Ribbon Week is observed to honor the memory of DEA agent Enrique Camarena. He was killed in the line of duty. United South High School gave its students an opportunity to listen to distinguished speakers from the community. The speakers were asked to give speeches that will impact the lives of students in a positive way. One day of the youth conference was devoted to girls. Another day was devoted to boys. The invited guests spoke to the students for 30 minutes. They were then rotated to a different room to address a new audience of students. The guest speakers addressed topics like building self-respect, leadership, and determining one's role in life. Notable guests included firefighter Antonio Garibay and city council member for District 2, Esteban Rangel. Also speaking to the girls were Musia Dovalina of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection and Mary Sue Galindo of Laredo Community College. The speakers would like for these students to realize that they can contribute to society's betterment in their own way. Event organizers want students to know that through hard work and dedication, goals can be achieved. This is the school's fifth year that it hosts a youth conference for its students. Alexander High School held a big pep rally before their game against United High School. The school's band, cheerleaders, and dance team all took part. Let's take a moment and enjoy this slice of life from the Bulldog Nation. Our district uses several methods to keep parents informed and involved in their children's education. Throughout the year, the district will invite parents to a festival of knowledge. These events are known as parent festivals. They are held at different campuses. This is our annual parent festival. We've held these for over 20 years. And it is a combination of all the efforts of the different departments at UISD to bring together these activities for parents. We have um, a number of sessions uh, through the curriculum and instruction department that have been put together specifically for parents. Topics such as autism, dyslexia, bilingual education, um, how to uh, help your child be successful in school. We have our LCC Tammy U partners also providing information to parents of secondary students. Um, we have information on SAT uh, college courses, um, end of course courses, reading mathematics, all kinds of fun things that parents need to know. Representatives from the different campuses were present to answer questions and share information. Civic and service organizations were invited to inform district parents on a number of subjects. Informative sessions were included to bring parents up to speed with the latest developments in education. The last parent festival was held at United High School's main campus. In an effort to prevent bullying, Pillar hosted an anti-bullying rally. Organizers say the goals are to stop bullying and prevent teen suicides. Pillar's mission has been to stomp out bullying incidents here in this community. An event like this is very valuable because it showcases the efforts not just Pillar but other agencies have put together uh, to try to reduce the number of bullying incidents in this community and on top of that to minimize the damaging effects they cause on people, especially students. This event tries to generate awareness about bullying. Admission to this event is free to parents and students of all grade levels. Speakers and service providers were also there to share information with interested parents Pillars is an organization made up of counselors. They try to help others overcome emotional problems. United ISD school bus drivers safely transport over 14,000 students every day. The district's transportation department recognized their efforts by treating the bus drivers to some delicious breakfast tacos. One appreciation breakfast event was held in the New East compound. Two others were held in the South compound and the North compound. It's an opportunity to be able to thank all the transportation staff, the employees that make the wheels of the bus go round and round, if you will. And it starts obviously with the drivers and the monitors and the mechanics and dispatch and all the employees that have a hand in making the transportation service work for the school district. 
The objective of the bus drivers is the safety of the students. Motorists are asked to be aware of the big yellow school buses. Pedirle a todos los, los eh, personas que andan por la calle que siempre le den prioridad cuando vean un bus y pongan atención a las luces porque de ahí, si, en cada bus escolar que ustedes miren, de ahí siempre va a bajar un niño o va a subir un niño. O so que estén bien alertas para evitar cualquier accidente y para poder llevar esos niños a, con seguridad a la escuela. With over 400 routes to take care of, UASD bus drivers have a big responsibility. They transport thousands of students to and from school every day. This is just a small token of appreciation for the work that they do and for us to recognize them, um, you know, for, for the efforts that they put uh, throughout, uh, throughout the year and, and on a daily basis, really. Reith Elementary recruited some community members to read to students. The event was held in recognition of National Picture Book Month. We celebrated uh, National Picture Book Month by having 10 guest readers come in and read to our students. Uh, they were able to choose a book of their own to go ahead and go and read to our students and the kids really enjoyed it. The guest readers came from all walks of life. They read to students in all grade levels. Event organizers say they want to foster a love of reading in their students. Reading creates good students and reading is the key to academic success. United ITV brings you the latest news and events in the United ISD. Here is another story that took place in our district. At United ISD, all students are required to wear uniforms. In order to help families of limited means, the district provides vouchers to families that meet certain financial requirements. What we're doing is we're giving parents the opportunity to apply for uniform vouchers for their children. Families that need a voucher are required to fill out an application. Applications are turned in and vouchers are issued. These vouchers can be redeemed at area stores. Voucher applications are accepted at least twice a year. Applications for uniform vouchers will again be made available in August of 2015. Parents applying for vouchers will need proof of district residency and other documents. We do it in January and we do it again in August. So the parents have two opportunities to get a uniform voucher for each of their children. We have the applications here and uh, all they need to bring is their identification, some proof of income, whether it be a check stub, uh, if they're receiving any kind of public assistance, we need a current letter and uh, a W-2 form, anything just to show us what their income is to determine that eligibility. Many departments work together to make sure the application process flows smoothly. District employees were in place to help the hundreds of parents who came for their vouchers. You've been watching United ITV News. We hope you enjoyed our show. I'm Maria. And I'm Alegria. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.